Hello friends, this is Hal. We are going to work on Brown Eyed Girl today. Hey, where did we go? Days when the rains came Down in the hollow Nothing and a running, hey, hey, skipping and a jumping in the misty morning fog with our hearts a thumping and you, my brown eyed girl. Here's the introduction. First of all, we've got two notes playing at a time. What I like to do is use my first finger and my second finger. First finger goes on the third fret B string. Second finger goes on the fourth fret D string. Like that. Then when we go to the next notes, right here, we're on the one, two, three, four, five, fifth fret. Now remember, I'm using a capo on the second fret, so I'm counting this as my third fret, fifth fret. Now when I do this, what I'm doing is I'm keeping my hand position relatively the same. Instead of using the same fingers like that and just turning my hand, it moves my hand around um, like this. I have to shift my hand. That's actually a little awkward and it is too much motion. It, it's unnecessary motion. So what I like to do is keep this part of my hand in the same position. Sarah, can you actually, can you work on that, the focus right there and show this hand right here? I'm going to be actually moving a little bit. I'm going to move. I'm going to move again. Because I want to see this part of my hand right there. And then I'm going to go on the other strings and do the same thing. Let's do it again. And then here's the ending part of it. Okay, and so this, I do this so that I can keep this part of my hand in the same position. Okay, now let's do the same thing again, but this time I want you to concentrate on my right hand, my picking hand. What I'm doing here is I'm actually playing, I'm playing the D string with my pick and then I'm using my, my ring finger right here, like that. Also one of the things that I'm doing is I'm touching the strings, this part of my hand right here is touching the strings and I'm using a lot of hand on the strings. If you want to, you can even touch the E string with your little finger like that to mute some of those strings. If I don't, oops, I get other ghost strings, strings vibrating that I don't really want. So that's the hand position that I use. And then I'm going to a D chord. Hey, where did we go? Let's see, what's my chords here? I changed my chords. Hey, where did we go? Days when the rains came. Playing in a new game. Nothing and a running, hey, hey. Skipping and a jumping. In the mist. 
in the morning Father, our hearts are thumping at you. Now, right there, we're doing the same chord progression every time. D to G to D to A. We do that four times in a row. And when we get to the end of the fourth line, let's see. In the misty morning, Father, our hearts are thumping and you. And then we go to a G chord again. A, my brown eyed D. Now what I've done here is I went from my D chord, I played the note on the fourth fret, right? Right there on the A string. And then I went to a B minor chord. And then I dropped that A string down to the open string. G, A chord, D, A. Right? Let's do that again. And you, my brown eyed girl. B minor. Minor with an A bass, G, A, brown eyed girl, A. Whatever happened. Then we do verse two, which is exactly the same. Whatever happened to Tuesday and so slow. Going down to the old mine with a transistor radio. Standing in the sunlight, laughing, hiding behind the rainbow's wall. Slipping and sliding all along the waterfall with you. Same thing as we did on the first verse, G chord. A, my brown eyed girl. B minor chord, B minor with an A bass. You, my brown eyed girl. Then we do this. Do you remember when? A7. I do a couple of punches there, I guess you could call it. Do you remember when? A7. We used to sing. What we do there is at the end of the chorus, this is actually the bass part in the original song, and I'm doing the bass part here. Okay, it's um, let's see, what is that? So, what I do is I play the let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seventh fret on the G string, fourth fret, seven. Four, five on the A string. Let's see. Five, four, five, four, six, seven, five, four, five, seven, seven. G string. Four, five. Oops. Four, six. So hard to find my. This will be the third verse. So after the bass, so hard to find my way now that I'm all on my own. I saw you just the other day. This is verse three. My, how you have grown. And cast my memory back there, Lord. Sometimes I'm overcome thinking about. Behind the stadium with you, my brown eyed girl. Fourth fret, B minor, open. You, my brown eyed girl. Do you remember when? A7, we used to sing another chorus. La, la, la. Do it 
four times. So I'm coming up on the fourth time. Da, la, 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 da, da, la, T, G, A, my brown eyed girl. D, G, D at the end. And that's it. That's how I do it. So let's see. Let's talk about the strum here. You want to just check that camera right there and make sure that we've got, we're in focus and everything. This is what we do. Hey, where did we go? What I'm doing is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. What I do is I actually when I do that down, down, up, that first up, it's actually on beat two and a half. I give it a little accent right there. And it happens on Hey, where did we go? Days when the rains came. Down in the hollow, playing a new game. So on days when the rains came, playing a new game. On those words right there, that's where those accents are. Let's do the timing on that part. In the misty morning fog with our hearts are thumping and you A, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's our note right there. That's actually a C sharp going to a B minor. Two, three, four. That's when we do the B with an A bass. G. You my Let's do that one more time. I don't know if I do that when I when I really play it. When I do it this slow, sometimes I I don't know what I do. I have to actually get into it. Whatever happened. Okay, so it's usually four beats, but right there at um, on that last line of the verse. You my brown-eyed girl. Um, that's the timing on that. Let's see. Okay. I think that's the whole song. I think we've talked about just about everything that we need to do. The strumming. Okay. I think you can play it. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. Go on over to Patreon and see what we're doing over there just for a dollar a month. If you uh, support us, we can also, yeah, I can give you, <laughs> I can give you extra help on songs for strumming and you can also get lessons over there. So uh, I'd really appreciate it if you would support us on Patreon um, and you can do that for just a dollar a month and get extra videos and uh, videos sooner before they actually become public and things like that. Thanks. We'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.